all right everybody welcome welcome back so what we have here is a Kuwait's meter they were nice enough to send it out to me so I really appreciate that and basically what this is is a smart meter what I would compare it to is my old uh, field piece LT 16 a that's what I started with that's what they made us use in uh, school it's just a basic meter to check voltage, uh, microfarads, continuity, ohms, stuff like that. So that's what I would compare it to. If I find it, it's somewhere stashed away. I'll do like a side-by-side. -side. But here's the meter itself. Now, I'm not paid or sponsored for this, but they did send it out for me to try. And I couldn't resist because it's a awesome-looking meter. Now, how well does it hold up? we will test that out but just from uh, using it real quick it's a solid meter it does what it's supposed to it doesn't have an amp clamp it's not going to be able to do amperage for what we need in HVAC and the reason they call it a uh, smart a meter is because it has an auto function so when you hook up to something it can check if it's volts AC or DC uh, ohms resistance or continuity those are the three that it's continuously looking for and can identify so if you are checking other things like I know there's a diode uh, option there's uh, microfarads is right there and I think it has millivolts Hertz temperature which there's a probe there for that uh, non-contact voltage you just pointed at something to see if it's live or not I use that a lot and then amperage milliamps we can't use that in our field so what I would say is this is not gonna be your primary meter if you do want to grab it it's you know it's very cool looks very cool has a little screen it's about the size of an iPhone max it's a little thicker but iPhone max big galaxy phone uh, note phone stuff like that it's a smartphone uh, shape so that's kind of cool fits in your back pocket side uh, I use I put it in my shirt pocket as well throw the leads with it and you're good you can also use this nice little hardcover case that they give and um, like I said a good meter just to go up quickly like this I would keep this I think HVAC guy mentioned this because he uh, had reviewed this I believe as well it's a nice meter to keep in your uh, front door your cabin kind of grab it with you I tend to grab a couple of things when I'm going to check something real quick just to go look at it before I need to before I know like what bag to grab um, and how bad the repair is gonna be so I also have this one too um, that I just have some like an all-in-one some channel locks needle nose and cutters and some wire connectors that would be good for that because all I'm gonna do is check if I have voltage uh, proper voltage and then maybe I want to check a capacitor or some safeties because you know safety's be going out all the time and uh, you want to check if they're open or closed that's what you use the continuity for so there's that option I feel like it's it's pretty cool to have it's pretty cool in general like like the look the size and everything and it's pretty cool to have as a backup either a backup meter or just when you want to go check uh, for voltage real quick because you're not going to be checking amps every single time but you are going to be checking for voltage every single time uh, you might want to check a capacitor and some safeties. So here we have uh, 600 volts CAT4, 1000 volts CAT3. And like I said, we can't really use this for checking amperage. The uh, max amperage on this is 10. So let's check a couple things real quick. And then I'm going to show it in the field. I'm going to use it for a few days and see how I like it. All right, so like I said, primarily what you're gonna use this for is anything that's dealing with uh, voltage, continuity, and microfarads. You can also do temperature, which I'll have to see. I know it is a true RMS uh, meter. I'll have to see how accurate the temperature is and how quickly it um, calibrates or like adjusts to the ambient. All right, and just to show real quick, the bad one, if you wanna check resistance, it has no resistance anymore. 
so that was a bad contactor on the coil so then this is a brand new one and if you want to you know check it against a new one it's seven and a half ohms so that's a bad versus good contactor if you want to bring out the fill piece to compare it's going to give me the same diagnosis We have no resistance anymore. Then if we go to the new one, it should have been about seven and a half. 7.6. So within range of what this meter gave me, it's comparable and you can get your uh, troubleshooting done with this. That's something you can use it for. Obviously you go through and check incoming voltage outgoing voltage now let's go to a capacitor we're changing out capacitors or we're doing a uh, maintenance or something we're checking our capacitors there and we want to check microfarads that you do have to manually go to and then if we check here give it a second it's 7.29 and this is a seven and a half microfarads so you know we're checking capacitance it's good we're good there and there's other instances where you can use this like i said i would use it as a backup meter or a grab and go meter if you're just gonna you don't want to take a tool bag and you're going with your all-in-one maybe some some pliers or something and then you want to take a meter to just to verify where you have voltage, where you're losing voltage, if you're shorting out somewhere. That's where I think this is kind of cool. And it looks cool. Like I said, this is a voltmeter to me, so it's more comparable to something like this, not an amp clamp meter. So this is what I started with. I don't even think this is mine. I think this is the one we had in the warehouse, but this is what I started with. Um, the options are most mostly just ranges. You have to select the right range uh, when you're doing this. And then AC and DC were on opposite sides. Uh, this one did have amps with an adapter. Uh, but you got the same thing, volts, ohms, microfarads. Uh, this one did have for phase rotation, but it did not have anything like non-contact voltage, with the, which this does and I use a lot. It did not have temperature whatsoever. This does, um, but this had amperage, so and phase rotation, so comparable. I was fine with this for the longest time. I think when I started, I wasn't really using amperage. Uh, to be honest, that's something I learned a little later on. To be checking that um, when I go through a system thoroughly, or if I have issues there, but. A lot of what I did with this meter, I can do with this meter. Like I said, I hardly ever used the little adapter there, but that's what we're at. That's what I would compare it to. Obviously, I still would use an amp clamp meter, which they do make. Um, we'll see if I end up getting that too, but like I said, quick little check checkups you can do. A lot with this meter and i just want to mention it does have this rubberized case basically like a phone case so you need to take that off to remove the back panel to replace your batteries it's three uh triple a pretty easy and without that rubber case it's even thinner and smaller just uh so you know and it is a true rms meter and it's supposed to be like 10,000 counts it's actually 99.99 auto power off these indicators do tell you these little leds where to hook up so on the auto function you hook up here if you change it to something that requires a different lead like we can go to the amperage part it's going to tell you here 
which connections to be on, which corresponds with the bottom. So that's kind of cool. Uh, I don't know if you have any issues with this one, but like on my LT16A, I always forgot to move over for checking microfarads when I started and uh, when I was in school. Would burn out a lot of fuses in there because you got to switch over. So this is the same, but it actually flashes at you what connections to hook up to. All right, so we're checking a unit here and I'm bringing my meter. I didn't bring a bag. Fits in my back pocket. And I have the leads in my shirt pocket. So easily fits in anything or any pocket. So this is just gonna be a demo. Real quick, we're checking a defrost issue here. So let's turn this on. So basically how you see it is how I see it, except for the flickering, but the brightness on it, right? So. I mean, I can see it, it's just gonna be very dim. And what I noticed, straight on, it's kinda dim if you tilt it a little bit in this direction. It's a little bit brighter. It's in like an LCD screen, so depending on the angle, you might get a better view. That should not be on. So right there, it's automatic. So we have 230, 235, 233, you guys can see that. It's decent in the sun it's not the best um basically just because they used a black background instead of a white if it was white with black lettering you'd see the contrast a lot better but it is what it is it is a beautiful display but it's one of those things that's um, appreciated more indoors but it, it's usable outdoors. It's usable if you just want to take this, throw it in your back pocket. Definitely see a use for it. Obviously, the only thing you cannot do is amperage readings. So if I wanted to check the compressor or a motor, um, as far as amperage, you can't do that with this meter. And as you can tell, it fits nicely in my shirt pocket there. So easy to carry. All right, so we're just gonna check an outlet real quick. We're on the automatic function. So basically, if you wanna test an outlet, it goes through its cycle real quick. It's 223 volts. It gives you the Hertz and it goes to AC automatically, which is a nice feature. If you do select it yourself, it's gonna be on DC right away. So you're gonna have to hit select for AC if you wanna do it manually. So the automatic function is neat. You're gonna hold it to get back to auto. And uh, it ranges from volts, AC, DC, uh, ohms, and continuity. It's on the auto if you put your two leads together. You can get a tone and check continuity. So that's mostly what you're gonna be using it for. Uh, there's a diode. If you're checking capacitors, there is a microfarad. And then we got temperature, something I'll use. There's hertz, millivolts. Uh, non-contact voltage is something else I use too. So if we go to non-contact voltage, it's basically right here. So when you're near one, it'll tell you if it's hot or not. So I also noticed on the non-contact tab, there's something called live. 
So, I know there's a lot of people that check outlets with a little outlet checker. You plug it in, it tells you if it's if it's uh, wired correctly, if it's wired in reverse, or you know if there's something wrong with it. Now you can obviously check. Well, let me just show you real quick. So if we check, so yeah, it looks like you can check with either probe. So you're gonna take your probe, you're gonna put it on the left, nothing, on the ground, nothing. But if you put it on the, the hot side, it'll tell you that it's hot. And that's just a way to check. Obviously, you know, the right side should be hot. And I think that's something that I've seen. I don't know if it's trendy now or what, but people check in their outlets for that stuff. But I know there's people that do uh, have to check it, electricians or uh, people that are renovating homes and stuff. So, or you're buying a new home. So that's a cool extra feature there. It's the live feature under non-contact voltage basically lets you know which is your neutral ground or hot wire all right so in nighttime this actually lights up really well so this would be good for nighttime you know when you're in the dark the screen lights up really well really bright it looks better in person obviously but uh the little flashlight function actually a decent little spotlight I mean it's not a it's not the best light but if you got a meter like I said you got a meter you're outside you want to make sure you're lit where you're checking or whatever cool little flashlight function all right guys so I hope you enjoyed the video the tool day now like I said I keep it in the cabin so it's gonna be here on the door uh, the Kuwait's meter, so I keep it in here. Basically, I grab like an all-in-one that I usually keep here and a flashlight, you know, put it in there or even like a pocket screwdriver and then take a meter. So I can take it, can fit it either in this pocket, in my back pocket, uh, I have a side pocket too, and it can fit there and it's just a cool meter. So that's the Kuwait's meter, the KM6 zero one like i said if you guys want to use it as just a voltmeter check your voltage um i don't know if i'll use it to check temperature but voltage and capacitors and continuity that's what i would use it for uh like i said i'm not sponsored they didn't pay me for this it's just a cool meter that i i they, they sent to me and i thought it was cool i told them i would do a little video on it and they do have products coming out that I'm kind of excited for. So uh, we're gonna continue looking at them. I'll keep an eye out for the other stuff they have coming out. And eventually we'll be doing a video on that. So I hope you guys uh, enjoyed. Like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys.